I'm Jess, uh, Jessica Dives. I'm an actor and in this show I will be playing predominantly the role of the old woman. Like many actors, it's a journey that started many, many years ago. Um, but for me, I got into theatre when I was very young um, and it just sort of slowly, mm, slowly became more and more what I did. So I did a lot of theatre theater work when I was young um, and then went off and did a BA at Royal Holloway um, in Drama and Theatre Studies. I spent some time um, working at RADA and also doing some stuff at the MYMT, um, which is the National Youth Music Theatre. Then just realised that it was something that I didn't, I wasn't ready to let go of yet, um, that it wasn't just a hobby and it was something that I sort of needed to pursue. So I um, found myself at Central, Royal Central School of Speech and Drama, doing a Masters. I think I enjoy most about it, just the varied things you can find yourself doing. This show alone is the first experience I've had of doing voiceover work um, in the sense that um, voicing a body that is not my own. I think it's extremely exciting, particularly with theatre work, that there and then, in that moment, on the stage, that's a moment that will never happen again. Um, and there are not only two, three, four, five other people on stage to experience that with, but there are 150, 300, however many are in the theatre there to experience that with you. And um, I just think that's really magical for an actor working on theatre work is that you are 100% in control of your art and your material. And I just think that's powerful. I think there's something exceptional that happens in a rehearsal room between actors and directors and everyone that's involved in the theatre process. That feeling of there's a camaraderie within the room that will never never happen again, it's here in this moment. I love work that keeps me guessing. I think that's great to for someone to be able to create something that feels familiar in a really unfamiliar way. I mean, I will be using a lot of the processes that I've used in the past, so um, drawing on my own experiences and um, just finding reason for saying everything and sort of, you know, f finding the meaning behind all of that. I think the process will have to start with how it fits in my own body and how my own body can, the similarities between myself and this puppet. Um, because, you know, although I'm a person, she's a puppet, she's still a woman and she has had particular experiences that I, I'm sure there's something that I can sort of draw upon.